The way we human beings communicate is through language. Words are really important. Actually, it's not simply the words we speak, it's the way we speak. In St. John's Gospel, Jesus is described as the Word of God. Jesus is God's communication to us. And St. John tells us that the Word was made flesh. If we want to know what God is like, we look at Jesus. But the Bible is also really important to us, which is why Christians call the Bible the Word of God, because it points to Jesus, it points to God. This is a living words which bring us alive as human beings. And reading the Bible is not simply an intellectual exercise, it's something that it touches the human heart. Because when we open ourselves to God and invite his spirit to enliven us, then we really engage with this text and God is able to speak to us, to challenge us, to move us, to enable us to discover the riches of his truth. Well, I think it gets more and more. I mean, the mm. thing that I love about reading the Bible is that um, every time I read a passage, even if I know it really well, mm. I get a greater sense of God speaking. Yeah. And the more confident I get about reading, mm. the mm. greater I hear mm. the voice. Mm. Some people say, mm. well, don't you get bored? You know, is, mm. Don't you get kind of um, put off by that whole mm. sense of reading the Bible? And for me, it's, it's an experience of going deeper and deeper, mm. not mm. one of them um, mm. in any way getting bored. And there are those powerful moments, aren't there, when the text speaks speaks to exactly where you are at a particular yes. moment in life mm. and uh, uh, through it God says to you exactly what you need to mm. hear for that day or that season in your life. There is no part of life which is not caught up in the God who inspired the, the Bible and in, to, into which he does not speak through the scriptures. It's wonderful. That's why it's so powerful. There's a total integrity about the Bible. You've got Job saying to God, he said, it's not I don't believe in you, I just think you're against me. You've got, from that, you've got great statements of faith. Thomas, doubting the resurrection, seeing Jesus, falling before him, the risen Jesus, saying, my Lord and my God. And you, you identify with both first generation of Christians, those who actually were with Jesus, um, a lot of what they're writing down is, is first-hand memory of what Jesus did and what Jesus said. So that's a very particular form of literature. Uh, but as Christians, we believe uh, that the whole of the Bible is inspired by God in the sense that uh, every word of the Bible was written by a person of faith. They sat down and wrote what God was telling them and they wrote it for a time that people could understand in those days and thankfully it translates in, into our time too and it's a dynamic book, it's a living book and God uses it today just as much as he used it when it was first written. I find that the story that the Bible tells is my story. The Bible draws me in into its own world giving me a context and a sense of belonging. I belong there and God confronts me there. <laughs>